Prescott? Yeah. What are you studying? Um, I'm studying a Bachelor of Creative Arts and I'm majoring in Visual Arts. Why are you passionate about that? Why am I passionate about that? Um, I love making art and there's so many different styles and forms and stuff about art that just makes it so so like widespread that everyone can make their own style and things like that about art and I just I love to make art okay so more about living away what does an average day for you look like an average day um I guess it depends on a day whether I have class or not if I have class um my classes start at 8 30 and so it's wake it up and then not wanting to wake up <laughs> Um, rushing to get ready because I probably slept in and just um, going to class usually coming back and then meeting up with everyone we go and have our group dinners and stuff like that um, play a game sometimes like a card game or something or go to the shops get some groceries Sometimes I do a late night Kmart run. Um, but honestly, like every day is different, I feel. Every day, everyone's like spontaneous and doing a whole heap of different stuff. And it's just, you know, you go with the flow. So far in your experience, what has been the biggest anxiety since you've moved up there? So like the biggest issue, the biggest problem that you've commonly faced um, going up there? I think the biggest problem would probably be stressing about money. Um, you know, living costs and food, you know, it's not easy. And it's a struggle to get a job. I feel like there's a lot of uni students that are going for jobs and stuff around. Um, so it is hard to, you know, so it is hard to manage money and all of that, especially when you have a group of friends as well. Um, and everyone wants to do different things and have different experiences, but yeah, money probably. So elaborating on you saying that you have a bunch of friends up there, um, mm -hmm. would you say having friends that live nearby on campus with you makes it easier? Yeah, 100%. Um, it definitely helps having friends that live close by. Um, you know, every day we're living together and stuff, even, even the ones that I don't necessarily live with in my unit, um, you know, it's, it's like... It's like having siblings sometimes, like you get on each other's nerves and you piss each other off and stuff and then you need to take time for yourself to like unwind and realise that you love them and all of that. But then it's also, you know, they're also always there for you. <laughs> what? I mean, you're not wrong. You're going no, to it doesn't. No oh, one said right. that. No, it everyone was like. At first, it looked. Everyone was like, "Is a mushroom?" Oh, I said, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know what another thing? Sorta. I done all the plaster <laughs> today, like and then I need a sand it still. It. So I brought some yeah. sandpaper. Yeah. Funny. Um, it's also we have lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. We're doing a hug, You're up. You're a crackhead, Emily. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What'd you hit? My knee. Oh, it was like your knee. Yeah. I thought it was a chair. Yeah, That's both why I stop it. <laughs> and, you know, we all share our experiences together, and they're, they're also yeah, they're such incredible. a great group of people, so that helps a lot. Thank you for this interview. Thank you. <laughs> this is all on video. <laughs> I'm just eating chips while they're sorting colours. <laughs> I'm talking shit. It's interesting on a Wednesday evening. Should do some MDMA. <laughs> 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 Don't put... <laughs>